Zen was born in a time of crisis. In the Tang Dynasty in China, uh, between about 600 and 900 AD, um, these two great traditions of Buddhism and Taoism kind of fused and became Zen. During that period, there was a catastrophic civil war right in the middle of the 8th century. It lasted for eight years, and by some reckonings, the population of China fell by two-thirds. That's, that's almost an unprecedented kind of catastrophe in human history. Now, we are in a time of crisis, it seems, a growing period of crisis, um, and where the reality of no separation is being obscured and division is deliberately being created. Well, you know, as Zen practitioners, we can't ourselves turn to hatred, but we can stand for love and non-separation. And we do, and we must, and we believe that this practice is in itself actually taking a stand against um, forces of, of divisiveness. Personally, I, I was really brought to Zen by the writers of Dogen. I, 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 I stumbled across a passage of Dogen through a friend, actually, who was a Zen practitioner, that was utterly baffling. It made no sense at all to me. And yet, somehow, I couldn't quite forget it. It was a passage about mountains walking. I had no idea what he was talking about, but I couldn't forget it. And this was a few years after I'd had this uh, revelatory moment on a beach when I was 19 years old. And which had left me utterly baffled. But it somehow hit me that Dogen was, somehow he was speaking out of that same experience.